down to the perfect mix. I travel a ton for work. And actually prior to last year, I hadn't traveled that much for work. And now I travel, like it's been like once every week. So I feel like the SFO airport and I were best buds. So I was gonna share with you guys a few things I've learned um, while I've been traveling of what to pack and what is really helpful when you're on those long flights um, and what makes the flight the best it can be because honestly sitting upright for six hours in an airplane it's not ideal it's not ideal at all so stay tuned to make sure you're subscribing below um, and enjoy my travel essentials so first up we're going to start with things to wear and obviously this isn't like everything you need to pack or everything you need to wear uh, maybe I'll go into that in another video but these are like my little tips and tricks that really help me um, so the first thing is uh, leggings and I know super controversial because really like who wears leggings as pants I do uh, these are my favorite they're covered in cat hair they're from Zella and um, they are my favorite uh, because they're high-waisted um, and you can pair them with like a nice sweater to be honest and you know what they just look like black tight pants and on six hour long haul flights to New York they are so important um, to have that like flexibility it's almost like you're wearing pajamas on the plane so I don't know I just really love having something comfortable on the bottom. In terms of shoes, these guys, they're from Allbirds, and they look like socks, basically. They're like this wool material. Get it nice and close. Yes. Um, this is my second pair I've had, and they are so comfortable. Um, they, you would think that because they're wool, they're like super hot. They're not at all, actually. They are just really comfortable. They're almost like wearing a sock, and you wear them barefooted. I, I just like love how uh, soft they are and how flexible, and they're pretty stylish, too. So they're also sustainably made, which is always a bonus. Great little sneakers. So then we move on to what to eat on the plane. So. I have my favorite place in the SFO airport, Terminal 2, called Napa Market. They have like everything organic, everything fancy fancy. There's a turkey cranberry sandwich there that is amazing. Um, but not every airport has all that delicious food. So I like to pack in my bag a few little snacks for emergencies. Um, I like something like this. Um, these are bear snacks, um, banana cinnamon chips because they kind of taste like dessert. They honestly won't fill you up. Um, they're super lightweight. Like these things are not gonna weigh a lot in your, in your bag. Um, there's also some air in here, so they're not gonna get too crunched. They have a resealable zipper up top here. Um, they are awesome in terms of no sugar. Um, they're natural, there's basically two ingredients, um, gluten-free, no oil, no preservatives, blah, 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 they're amazing, um, and they're just like nice to snack on, because sometimes when you're on the plane you're actually not that hungry, you just are tired of doing nothing for six hours. Um, so that brings me to my second um, snack, is you gotta have some protein, um, so I highly recommend uh, some nuts, these are um, walnuts, but you can get any any sort of nut is good. Um, these will just keep you full and they're pretty good, pretty delicious. Um, almonds or all of them right now. Um, almonds are good, just something that will provide a little bit of protein. So you can combine it with your fruit. Oh meal, just need some cheese. By the way, do I have a cheese plate? Or the cheese plate? It's almost like Um, water bottle? Um, 
know I want some too. Okay. Um, water bottle. Honestly, these small ones are a little heavy. They look really pretty. Um, but um, a lot of airports have water filling stations now, so you don't really need to have like a full, or you don't really need to buy water um, if you don't want to, because water at the airport is expensive. Um, I have a hard time sometimes carrying these around because it is so heavy. Um, but if you can, carry your water bottle because it will make a difference. Okay, so that was food, clothing. Now let's get into electronics. Obviously this section could be giant because I could go into all my camera equipment, but I'm just going to stick with two important things that you need in terms of entertainment on the plane. Um, the first thing is the iPad. It is important. Oh look, marble, of course. Um, iPads, um, honestly, like I don't use my iPad a lot when I'm home. When I'm traveling, this thing is so important. It's great for looking up. Um, I have like the mini one, so it's like small. Um, and it's covered in fingerprints, but um, I highly recommend an iPad because they're small, they're portable, you can read books on them. Now that you can download um, TV shows from Netflix, I mean, it's it's like really important to have an iPad. Highly recommend it. The most important thing, pay attention. The most important thing for technology is this little guy. This. Um, and this is the uh, Amazon Basics, which is like their um, generic brand for Amazon. Um, this is their power bank. It's like $25. Um, it charges it four times. So you can see those little four bars down there. And it charges your phone four times over. There are two USB ports in the bottom. Um, sometimes I honestly don't even I will just charge my phone on this if the hotel, you know, has like a plug like five miles from the bed. I will just plug it in here and call it a day. It's so great to be able to um, have this like backup battery source. Like even if you're just charging your phone from it or, um, you know, just keeping it in your purse. It's a little heavy. I highly recommend. Um, this one is the 10,000 megahertz, the size of an iPhone. Here's my iPhone. Um, it's not the size of an iPhone, thickness of an iPhone, but it literally is so important. I love having this, and I kind of want to buy another one because this is the best present ever, too. Great, great present. So now we're going to move on to a few beauty tips, um, not too many, but just a few of like things I think are so important to have on the flight. First up is a moisturizing, uh, mo moisturizing moisturizer, yes. um, it's a moisturizing cream. This is my favorite moisturizing cream ever, um, Believe True Cream Moisture Balm, and this stuff is thick, I've almost used through like, hello, there's like nothing left in there. Um, it smells good too. Um, I've used a lot of this because I love it and on, on the plane your skin tends to get really dry. So you need to keep hydrating with your old water bottle. But you also need to um, put on lots of moisturizer. Sometimes I even use an overnight moisture mask to really make sure that my skin is as moisturized as possible. Who cares if it looks greasy, you will be dewy and glowy on the plane when you get there. So, moisturize. The next one is get an eye cream. If you're taking like early flights or you're getting in late and you have to wake up early the next morning and look ready for a presentation, get an eye cream that is going to wake your eyes up. This is Clinique Pep Start. Um, this eye cream, seriously, like, I don't know what it does. I think it has caffeine in it or something, but you kind of dot it under your eyes and it's like, it's really, it's great. Um, last but not least, um, 
This is Milk Makeup's Hero Salve. And this is really great for moisturizing your lips. Um, you can kind of use it for anything. You can use it for a highlighter if you want, but um, I use it on my lips, um, just on my cuticles, maybe if they get dry, just throw it in your bag. You will appreciate it later. Just, my travel list essentials would not be the same without this Kuyana bag. It's huge. Like, I look in here and it's like a black hole in here, but I love it. Um, this brand's from San Francisco. They're super nice. I love working with them. And they gave me this bag a little while ago. It fits like, you could probably fit like four laptops in here. It seriously is huge. Um, people used to make fun of me because they said it was like an overnight bag, but you know what? I love it. I think it fits everything you need for traveling. Um, I got this cute little tassel to put on it. Um, it has my initials in there somewhere. Got those initials in there. Um, has my initials on the bag. Um, it's so nice. I love this bag. Um, I've had it for about a year and it barely shows any wear. Um, it's super affordable, so check it out and you can literally put everything I just showed you in this bag. So, Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my travel video of Travel Essentials. Hopefully you guys like this video and I will be creating a few more videos for you to check out in the coming weeks, so stay tuned and make sure to subscribe below. Thank you so much! Bye!